guys, this is Astropark and today I want to tell you that too many of my friends got hacked. Lost quite some money because they suffered a sim swamp attack. We all hate such data hacks, right? So I want to talk to you about a new project I found, HyperSign, which aims to solve such problems, preserving your privacy, introducing some nice identity management and whitelisting solutions, all built on Polkadot and the Ethereum networks. Really nice. What's the mission of these guys? First, to eliminate all problems related to data breaches, because as you know, everyone who uses Facebook or Google for authentication has uh, it's easy to use, right? But you don't know how the data and uh, what happens when Facebook data gets leaked by hackers or someone sees your photos just because you were tagged. You lose everything because you don't have control over your personal data. So another mission of HyperSign team is to empower humans to regain control over their personal data and get a passive income over it. The point here is this, companies want to get access to your data, then they have to give something back to you. Last point, they want to democratize the security tools for enterprises, make, making them affordable in price. This is another really important issue because every company that wants to host their own security system, they have to pay something like 30K dollars per year to Cisco systems or similar. And it's simply too expensive for startups or for little companies. So what problem they are going to solve? First, issues faced by consumers like the OTP one-time password logins. Usually you use SMS to get the OTP code, but what happens when there is a SIM swap attack or a wireless interception due to the network channel is unsecure? This is something uh, sometimes very critical because someone can steal you the code and they can access to the system instead of you. Another problem is the social login. All these socials own all your personal data and they track your you whenever you go and they share too much of your personal data to others. You can easily understand this by your daily experience. You look for something to buy and you then move to another website, guess what? Google Ads suggests you to buy something related to your previous navigation history, and this is something really worrying. You are totally tracked. Another problem HyperSign is going to solve is this. Current solutions require too much trust. The identity provider, the IDP, sits in the center of the ecosystem, making it a critical trusted entity. And if you have a single concentration of trust in a system, you have a bottleneck, you have one point of failure. This is quite critical. So the solution that HyperSign phone is to distribute the trust amongst the holders. Using a blockchain, you don't have anymore an IDP, but you have a decentralized network of identifiers. The IDP is no more at the center of the scheme, but, but it's at the border like others. Users hate their personal data cryptographically saved in blockchain. They send them to issuers which verify them and issue cryptographically signed documents. The end user can then store the verifier credentials in any mobile device or in the cloud. So generically, in a place they only have access to. Then the user can present their credential to the service provider in a peer-to-peer -peer conversation without the need of the IDP. The service provider just needs to contact the IDP to verify if credentials are okay. So what are the unique features HypenSign created? First, a two-way authentication system. In order to build trust and eliminate phishing attacks, HyperSign enables secure authentication of website and ensure such websites are trusted. Also, is the user who defines what you want to share, what you don't want to share. 
Another very important feature is this independent verification. Each website can verify credential on their own without the need to connect with, with any IDP. So they have lower operational costs and they can easily optimize their workflow. Let's see now how it works. First step is the onboarding of the actors. So users, identity providers and service providers, they all have to register in this HyperSign blockchain network. Second step is the credential issuance. So users request the credentials from the identity provider and at the end of the process, they provide back a sign and the credential. Third step is related to the use of credentials. One step registration and login by the user so the service provider can verify the credential with the identity provider on the blockchain network. How this one-step registration and login works? Let's see. User unlocks access to HyperSign by using a PIN or biometrics. Then it scans the QR code that appears on the website, so a digital signature is sent to the HOT server. The HOT server connects with the HyperSign blockchain and validates the signature using a smart contract. And in the end, the user is authenticated. To implement all of this, we need a set of tools and software to use. First, the HyperSign Identity Wallet. This is the for the end user. It's basically a mobile app or a web browser extension that you can use to store and manage your private keys and your verifiable credentials. On the other hand, the identity provider must use the HyperSign Studio. It's a web application to manage connection credentials for insurance, revocation, and so on. The HyperSign SDK is the tool for the service provider. It's a framework that service provider uses to show the QR code that the user have to scan and to connect with the HyperSync, HyperSync blockchain network to verify credentials. Finally, we have also the HyperSign adapters. This is an SDK for centralized IDP used to convert existing IAM solution into a decentralized system. Now we can see here four simple use cases of the HyperSign solution. The first is the ID and access management. So you totally eliminate the username and password old basic solution while improving the user experience. As you only have to scan a QR code, for example, and you, you are adding a security layer provided by the blockchain. Another important use case is the verified data market. So you ensure all users' data are verified and you empower users to control their data. One of the most interesting feature is related to the HIDE whitelisting process. So you can automate what's usually a manual process. You will eliminate the bots because now you, every user must be identified as a user. You totally eliminate the third party forms and create a legitimate transparent solution for users. This applies also to the Know Your Customer and Procedure system as you enable KYC providers to adopt Web3C standards. You eliminate the risk and cost for storing user data and ensures compliance with local, local data privacy laws. HIT is the name of the token and uh, what we can see in this slide the HyperSign network comes with a basic payment infrastructure for any party to set up a payment layer. So with the HID token, which is the native currency of the network, the end user can pay for credential to the identity issuer directly from the wallet. Identity and service providers are incentivized by earning revenue in HID token through verifying transactions and maintaining the network instead of selling user data. Also, you can stake the tokens, of course. HyperSign introduces an interesting idea of data marketplace. You own your personal data and you can monetize it, basically getting free fee through high liquidity pool. When a user interacts with the HyperSign protocol, 
in exchange of identity data, he, she gets both verified credential, VC, and endorsement score, e-score. User can then use such VC and e-score to mine NFT available for selling within the data marketplace. When an enterprise buys such NFTs via a Ethereum DAI, he gets back 90% of the NFT price, while the remaining 10% is got via hid liquidity pool, so as hid LP tokens and fees. So, how can you see in this graph? You monetize the personal data you own. Really nice. Okay, you must notice they got some hovers in 19 uh, in 2019. The best payment security award from Accenture, best blockchain security from Cyberview, best emerging security from Unisys, and in 2020, best decentralized payment security from Harmony, the best decentralized identity from Eternity. A lot of ventures are interest are investing in this solution, like Block OG Capital. Twin Hypex Capital, Prometheus Labs, Solidity Ventures, Moonwell, Rarestone Capital, X Network Capital, etc. They already have a lot of partners Eternity, Elrod, U2, Ontology, Harmony, and Spider VPN. The roadmap is uh, pretty full. We are currently in this April June. 21. So they are developing all the DeFi farming contracts. They are holding these contracts and launching the farm structure as well as the HyperSign identity infrastructure. In July, August 21, they are going to develop and hold it behind these smart contracts and launch L1 testnet. Since the last quarter of 2021 on, they are clearly going to build the entire platform and infrastructure of course onboarding many users and companies okay so thank you so much for watching this video till the end you may give it a like if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to the channel for more content actually i hope you like with it and you get interested like me in the hyperstein project let me know in the comment section of course, you can get more information on their website and socials. Again, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Cheers.